I'll, I'll add, okay, does DNA degrade or dissolve in water? It degrades. Oh, it no. Degrade. No. It depends on what water you put it in. Oh, okay. pure water. Right. So, so good, good point. Good point. We should so that, and, that, and that's something pure that, so you, you know that's going to be quote mine. You know, <laughs> it's going to be a video. Be quote I'm so sad that. right now. So, you know what? It's, so, like, it's kind of like when you go on trial and you're a lawyer. So, Make sure you don't ask a question that you don't. The know. problem yeah, was, was that's fine, but this is good because he actually qualified what type of water in pure yeah. water with no nucleases. And, and and that's and that's something that we've been yeah. discussing. Something it's very simple is that we have a guy uh, in our community who I'm trying to think of a nice way to describe him. He's not that bright, mm. but what he does is he'll take one or two little neat things in some uh, some biology book that he has, and then tries to pretend like he's a savant. And so he uh, he and I had a discussion uh, and it was discussing a little bit about abiogenesis. And at the time, I probably knew just as much as he did about it, but he was under the impression that if you took DNA and put it in water, in any, it was any water, um, it would just break down immediately without uh, certain certain buffers. And I said, well, no, it's, it wouldn't be certain buffers. It would be, you have DNAs and nucleases that would break it down, mm -hmm. uh, but, when we're talking about just in, in like pure water, like nuclease free water, it would not for several thousand years. But we went back and forth on this silly point for months. It also, months, it also depends on temperature too. I mean, it, it does. Yeah. And, and that's something right. that was completely neglected until just recently. Yeah. Um, but it's, you, you would think that something as simple as that wouldn't be the point of contention, but yeah. um, he is one of these guys that, he will take and quote mine something like even with what you just said, he will literally make a video and go, look, Dragnaut's friend even agrees with me, even though you right. qualify. And he will, it will happen. So let's clarify. I, I am, as, as soon as he does it, I'll send you the video, but he will. <laughs> when you, when you put DNA into pure water, does it immediately fall apart and break apart to his nucleotide sequence? So you can never do a PCR reaction or anything else. No, actually, because we take our, uh, most of our PCR products. Once we clean them, we put them in, uh, DNA free water. I mean, it's, and we are able to send that off. It, there you go. And, and that, and that's what it boils down to, right? Yeah. yeah. So DNA will dissolve in water because you're just putting in a solution. I mean, dissolve yeah. in a solution, but, yeah. but he, he, his, his argument was, and let's get for clarification. Cause after he, you know, quote minds you, which, which is fine. I don't mind that because it actually shows the dishonesty and, and lack of integrity. People on the other side of the, the great debate, you know, who we call the clown car posse, this is what they do. But, we know for a fact that if you take DNA and just stick it in the water, it's going to be a very, very, very long time before you have any kind of spontaneous breaking of any kind of bonds. Um, in that fact, the, the sugar phosphate bond literally is like 10 to the 33 power or something years for half-life. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very, very long time. And, yeah. and he, but he, his, his, his idea was that you put the DNA in water and all of a sudden the nucleotides start, start falling apart. No, it, no. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what he was saying. So when we say when we say degrade in water, yeah. we mean that it feels it falls apart like tissue paper. We know that DNA will that's degrade in water over a period of time, so that is true. Yeah. Um, but if you have a denucleased water, and people don't know in the audience, denucleased means it doesn't have any enzymes to break down DNA, and mm -hmm. so uh, you have to have some reasons to break down the DNA, right? You have to have some something that's actually going to break it apart, either the nucleases or like you said, high temperatures, you have high activity in the water, maybe cause some spontaneous breaking, right? But you're not, it's not going to like fall apart like tissue paper. No, I mean, and here's the thing is that what people really need to re uh, recognize that DNA, it's very fragile. So if you like take the tube with the DNA in it and you throw it around, it's going to cause some shearing of the DNA. Even freezing and thawing will cause shearing of the DNA. So you, so you want to minimize your mechan mechan uh, mechanical vibrations and your temp huge temperature variance. Yeah. Um, so the big the, – what I have to deal with a lot of times whenever I have – so I perform my DNA extraction, and we have our pure, quote-unquote, pure DNA. There's always other things in it um, because you can't get ultra-pure DNA without having to do a lot of stuff and costing a lot of money. But – you have this uh, this DNA sample, and then you take that, and you'll make aliquots of it. So you have the same thing in smaller amounts, so that you're not sacrificing that whole tube every time you have to pull it out and thaw it out to make your PCR reaction. 
Um, because that that's where you have a lot of sharing of the DNA is in that freeze thaw cycle. Sure, and it's funny as Annabelle's in live feed going. Um, you know, Ronnie will quote mine this without uh, quote mine using this the first question and the answer and leave out the details. Well, and, and, that's and I, and I guarantee that I'm counting that, on. Yeah, that's I'm counting have on a plan it as for well. That. So this I is a prediction. A if he that. watches this, um, that oh look, and he's just going to have like. It degrades, 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 so, degrades. So, here, so, hey, so here's, here's, here's the thing. Like that. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. You know what? It is how the question's worded. And I and I and and that's why I, I was going to ask the question a little more specifically so we didn't have this problem. Yes, degrade, DNA will degrade in water over a long period of time. Yep. Okay, so that 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 is very true. But Ronnie wasn't asking that question. He was literally saying that if you stick wa DNA in water, Poof, it's going to degrade instantly. It's going to disintegrate. It's <laughs> so, going to break, well, quote, break apart into its constituent parts. He didn't know the word monomer at the time, even though uh, he claimed to be a biochemist expert. Um, but so he didn't know what a monomer is. I'm going to, I'm going to let Lance, there's a debate between Steve and this guy. I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of what he had to offer during this debate. Um, okay. Just, just a how, sample. Wait, wait a minute. How, how drunk is Lance right now? Sober as a priest. Oh, God. It's going to hurt then. <laughs> yeah, it's just just hurt. take it. Just take your time and listen. Let you, me you know. Got any, you got any scotch or something? You might you might want to like. <laughs> just saying, it hurts. So, the, mind you, the name of the debate is what best accounts for the systems in nature, evolution or intelligent design. If that gives you an idea of kind of where his mind is at, so uh, just uh, just take a take a listen. And this is, this is on General Sound Solo's channel. So if anybody hasn't seen the debate yet, I can link it later. But uh, yeah. oops, hold on. Got to change my input. Default device, there we go. You know, talking about scientific models is because there are some misunderstandings that people have about the scientific nature or the, uh, the nature of science. One of the reasons why we go about the scientific process, or the main reason that we go about the scientific process is cause and effect, to better understand reality. And um, evolutionary theory with intelligent design, I think that we're going to quickly see that evolutionary theory as in applying the mechanisms of evolution to try to account for this diversity of life falls short. Um, intelligent design is the only explanation that we have based on the available data that can actually account through a measurement of causality for the systems that we're seeing inside of nature. Um, there's a little bit more that I wanted to say here, but I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> There's a little bit more than he wanted to say. He's talked for a few minutes. To, uh, save the time uh, for this debate, so you can uh, go ahead and respond, uh, Steve. That was his entire presentation. He had 15 minutes to do a presentation. That was pretty much his entire presentation. And by the way, if he smacks his lips one more time, somebody go smack the shit out of him. <laughs> I'm so, I'm swear to God, it's so annoying listening to him smack his lips every three seconds. So right. at, as someone who's not a part of this community, did you... What, what did you gain from what you just heard? Not a damn thing. Okay. Um, I'm just curious. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as yeah they, it's just nonsense, isn't it? As soon as someone starts saying, oh, well, intelligent design this, I just zone out because there's no argument. We, we were asking him for the model. First of all, he didn't understand. Okay, I gave him the, the form. For the debate, he could pick the channel, the, the moderator, the topic. He picked all of it, right? I want to give him every concession. When I whipped his ass, I wanted him to know that he got beat pretty bad. And he is hashtag bitch made, let me tell you. He got his ass handed to him. But uh, the, the, he actually came up with this idea that somehow a model is cause and effect. Cause and effect is the model to him for intelligent design. I, I don't even know where to begin to explain to people how just idiotically stupid that really is. <laughs> Um, yeah. He, and then he said, I didn't present a model when I did. I presented, you know, actually general relativity and I presented um, some mentally and inheritance uh, things as, as a model to have predictive properties. To him, that's not a model because he doesn't understand a model is an explanation, right? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I pulled up the YouTube to see the comments and all that. Uh, well, there's a couple trolls on there. Uh, I think I, I've been hearing that. It's actually Ronnie on a sock account. I don't know if that's true or not. But um, there's a couple people that are like, oh, yeah, Steve got killed. And everybody's like, are you freaking kidding me? Did you watch the same video? Because even the people on the Clown Crow Posse was like, yeah, we think Ronnie did crap. So even He doesn't family, know who that is. He doesn't. I'll, I'll fill him in on, on the CCP later. But um, okay. I want to uh, get through some of, 